Wake up and smell the coffee, Mr. LaRusso. Extreme situations require extreme measures. Oh, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Cobra Kai Karate. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're reviewing the, the next Karate Kid. As we're counting down the Cobra Kai Season 5, we're reviewing all the Karate Kid movies. And we're here with the next Karate Kid. Boy. So, um, I just rewatched this movie last night. And, um, you know, it's not as bad as people think it is. I still think if you're a Karate Kid fan, you should still watch this movie. But it is still bad. This is actually the lowest on Rotten Tomatoes, only seven Rotten Tomatoes, like, oof. So, the next Karate Kid is the fourth Karate Kid film. It came out in 19, not, 1994, five years after Karate Kid Part 3. And you can see that they definitely want to continue the story, but they didn't want to continue for Rathmacho Daniel. They felt like that story was finished, Rathmacho was getting older. So, they did continue it, but they switched the gender to a girl. And then they made the next Karate Kid with Mr. Miyagi, all mentoring more of a troubled teenage girl. And... I feel like this film was more of a cash grab than an actual story. Like, I don't know, because it doesn't feel like this was needed. The first three Karate Kid films did feel like they're needed. This one felt, like, all needed. I feel like they was like, all right, we want a new Karate Kid movie. It's, they thought of this idea, like, what if it's what if we just switched to gender? And then they just went from there, and they just wrote a plot. And I'll get into it. So I'm going to get into stuff that I do not like, and there is a lot. So, or no, I'll get into stuff I like first. We'll get into stuff I like first. You know, I guess they're positive. So, um, one thing I would like to say, Mr. Miyagi. They did well with Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi is my favorite character. So, of course, I love when Pabby Arda returns to Mr. Miyagi. So, that's the main thing for this movie. Now, they did well with Mr. Miyagi. I think they did the character pretty well. They didn't do as much as they did in the first three Karate Kid films. I would say that they, they still did pretty well with that character. And he had some pretty interesting moments. And uh, I really liked the character in this movie. All right, now on to Julia. Well, we're not gonna talk about Julia Pierce yet because I don't think she's on a good list. Um, because she's a pretty weird character. But one other thing I say what I like about this film, it is a bit entertaining, a little bit. Um, besides like the crazy, over the top villains, I would give it. It's still fun to watch, a little. But like, I still think that it still has a pretty fun vibe to it, at least in the beginning and around the end. But that middle is terrible. So that's the one another thing I'll say about the good. Number three, there is a couple good acting moments because Hilary Swank who plays this really Pierce is actually like an Oscar winning actress. And um her acting was really bad this movie. But she did have a couple good acting moments. Like the one where they had that when she was with that Angel Hawk letting her go. Or what was another one? I didn't remember the other one. But um I feel like that was done pretty well too. Alright, now onto the pad stuff. Okay. First off. The biggest bad thing about this is the freaking villains. I'm sorry. What the actual hell? So, we had this Colonel Dugan, a.k.a. Washdown, um, John Kreese, freaking John Kreese from Wish.com. Um, so the villains are basically like this evil, evil, like, police force at, at, um, the high school called, like, the Alpha Group. And they, like, apparently it's like a kid drops a chocolate that you're supposed to make him eat it up and choke on it like i don't know what the hell but this is what crazy guy colonel dukin who's training all these alphas whatever and they're like the police in school and one of them is ned and like he's freaking harassing julia pierce and he's not like the other villains where at least he's like cool like like this one just seems like kind of a nerd um and he just seems like evil like he did he did like he, he said some stuff i don't think the other ones would do but like I, I also find this guy like like Chosen or Johnny or Mike Barnes where he's like funny or entertaining or even cool. He just sort of just slopey and is sort of there, just sort of this generic evil nineties character. Colonel Jukin is really over the top. Like he said he's gonna kill like oh kill finisher. Like yeah, let's just kill a high school girl, like because she challenged you. Like I don't freaking know. The whole thing the whole villain is trying to ruin this movie. It's cringeworthy, it's bad, and I can like to sit through it. I do not like it at all. Um moving on to another stuff is So the acting was pretty bad. Um throughout all the characters, besides Pat Miorno. Most of all the acting was bad. And it just did not work. Um and third off was Julia Pierce. This character is not a really good character. Because like Daniel, he had a hard life. And, but he said that like, he was still nice. Like, you know, just in the first movie, he tries to help. He, he, he um, gives the dog some water 
or he tries to be nice to people, and he's always trying and he def- try to defend Allie. Even in Cry Get to Part Two, we see him help an older guy um help save this little girl's life. And I feel like there's more to him. Julia Pierce in the first half, she's just blatantly out rude. And yeah, they give a little backstory that her mother died and whatever, but like I they didn't explore that as much. They sort of just said it in like dialogue and then just forgot about it. And I don't feel like I just don't feel like that stuff was really there. Even if that was there, like she wasn't really doing anything to make me like the character. She really was just like she was char- she was just rude in the beginning to her grandma. Um then we see how she like feels like an angel. Or like you know, she feels like a not an angel, a hawk called Angel. I don't know what the hell that was about. But uh, she's sitting there. She's kind of just rude to people. Just really snippy and rude to them. And then like just just more in the movie. She like disrespects Mr. Miyagi, like, oh you're trying to teach me something? Look at you, you can't even speak English. Like, oh my gosh. So I did not like this character. And more in the second half, she becomes a nicer person. I don't feel like why I don't feel like she switched. She was really angry, she's full of so much bitter. And she goes to, like, a mug place. Next thing you know, she's, like, the happiest person ever. I was like, what? So it just didn't feel right. And another thing, onto the monks. So they're bringing these monks in the film. So the, I thought the stuff of the monks was done okay, but it was just a little weird. Like, they're dancing and whatnot. I don't know. But then, this is so weird. It confused me so much. So we, now we're focusing on Julia Pierce. She's at the prom with her boyfriend, Eric. And, like, the alphas come flying in out of nowhere. Starts fighting them. I don't freaking know. But as this is all happening... They try to put this little scene of Mr. Miyagi and the monks going bullying. I was like, what? What does this have to do with the story? And like, like who thought of this? Like, who? Like, ugh, I don't know. So they do that. And then as they finish it, so like basically the monks like destroy this one guy who's being rude to him in, in bullying. So like, okay. All right. Then, we, then that scene's over. All right. Now we're back to this stuff. We're back to the Eric, Julia at the prom. You know, they're about to, like, fight the alphas, big final fight. As this happens, they switch to back to a scene of this one guy, blindfolded, trying to bully it. Like, what? Like, it's so random. Like, what the frick even is that? And then there's just, like, terrible scenes in this stuff. Like, Mr. Miyagi. So there's one scene where, like, they're, where, they're like, go get me an almond chocolate. $5 gas. Julia Pierce goes in, and then she gets it. There's, like, this dog barking at her. She gets scared. Mr. Miyagi comes in and pets the dog. And then they walk away. And then the guy goes, oh, you made my dog look like a sissy. Like, it's just so weird. And then, then he goes, then he goes like, no, I didn't. And then he goes, or he goes like, what did he say? He says, sometimes dogs are smarter than humans. It's <laughs> Miyagi dropping some diss tracks. Um, and then the guy's like, better watch it. Then they start fighting. Like, I feel like that whole thing was just a setup so we get a cool Mr. Miyagi fight. And it just was on, it's just, it's the way I set it up was a bit weird. So this film in a whole is nothing compared to the original trilogy of Daniel. I think this film was unnecessary, and um, it was just a bad film. It's also some light size, I'll give it that, but it's not too much to win over the film to say it's actually a good film or even an alright film. I think this film is bad, it will always be bad, and if Julia, I, don't think, I don't think they should possibly even re- have Julia Pierce return. Because a lot of people watch Julia Pierce return, but like, I don't think she's even that popular. Like Most Karate Kid fans or Karate Kid fans I talk to, I'd see this movie, and like, should I watch? I'm like, yeah, you definitely should, but like, it's not really that good. So I don't know if they'll bring Julia Pierce back, but if they do, make it a smaller character because I don't think people care that much for that character. But maybe they do. Maybe there's an audience that I haven't seen it, but like from what I've seen, I can't get how people can actually like love that movie unless you like grew up on it. Like you, you, you watch the terriblest movie ever. If you grew up on it, you're gonna have a connection to it when you're older. Um, but. I don't know if people like that, but, um, yeah, I, I don't want to attend this film, um, I give this film a, I'll give it a four, and that's pretty bad, I would probably get a 4.5 because of Mr. Miyagi, they explore his character more, and they've done pretty well, but, like, I can't ignore the other stuff, that stuff just drags it down, like, a whole, oof, but, God, let me know what you guys think about the next Karate Kid, in the comments down below, Next, I'll be reviewing Cobra Kai season one, the whole season. I'm watching the season now, and I'm not reviewing the the Karate Kid remake because it's not canon to the universe, and people will stop saying it is. It's not. And plus, who wants to see like Dre return in Cobra Kai? Listen, I mean, I might review that movie one day, but like, the film is not that good in my opinion. I thought the film's good, just not for me. You could say. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Always remember, it's like guys, I'm a little sick right now. It's very sick. But I think I might have the coronavirus. I'm trying to get over this. Hopefully, I get better for season five. But Kyle, I'll see you guys next time. Always remember, extreme just to car, extreme measures. Peace.
I tell you nothing. Try to teach you something. Teach me? Look at you. You can't even speak English. What an asshole. I know, man. 